That's what I like to start the day with, lot. A good old-fashioned flat tyre. Mm. Will it even go up? Plenty of help. Nah, she's going up. She's going up. That'll do. Pump her up. Let's go. <laughs> Don't get it fixed, like. Let's just go. Hey, Ali, I bought you a cold Greggs again. It does annoy me now, this cold Greggs. Why? Why not just put them on? I know it's about tax, isn't it? Because I have to charge you extra if they have them on them hot plates. You have to charge you extra for your sausage rolls and for your food. But in it, Gammy, cold Greggs. There's no worse, man. Freaking cold. Dear Dag, don't mind. Look. Well, I just pulled up here at Scottish Yard. One of the drivers got an air leak. Someone's just come back. Oh, the big scar on you. Right, gear it now, eh? I'm just gonna get underneath, Wayne. Oh, no. Gonna get underneath. Don't move, move anywhere. The main EBS valve's leaking. Exhausted. My bit of valve sticking now. Just took the handbrake on and off. Foot brake on and off, and it's I can't go to leak anymore. So I'll have to keep his ear out for it, won't I? Oh, look, Lear Dag's having some love off William Wallace. Look. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you, that's not some <laughs> Poor Lee Dag. Shut that door when it's too cold. Right, I've got here little still forklift. This little still forklift's a bit of a problem. It's a problem, child. These here, you see them there? They're the wrong size because Rob changed them and he reckons they're smaller. Yeah, they are. He robbed them off another forklift. And look, the pipes are rubbing in here, causing a bit of grief and mayhem. So I'm going to change these before it rubs them parts away, and, and aren't I? Oh look, the right twisted and buckled, aren't they? That should be a quite simple task for me, shouldn't it? Hey right, Tom. Hey yo. How you doing, mate? Hey yo. Not bad, mate. Not bad. Oh, there, my new little phone holder, look. Uh, Ryan Beckett, give me this. He said, uh, please use this uh, stand for your phone. These stands. So your phone don't get ruined all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm like, mate. You know what I'm like. Right, let's put this off then. I can't, I can't get that out then. I'm going to have to undo this top grub screw here to then move this little axle that way to get this out. Little grubby of the screw. 13mm Allen key. Right, that's C, so I'm going to take it off the frame down here instead. There's always two ways to do something, isn't there, like, people? Ta-da! One little roller mount. Now that should be easier now. Now I've got the tape, I didn't realise the mass was up a bit, silly man. Oh no, it doesn't change the thing, has it? Because they always stay the same length, don't they, Chris? Idiot. I'm going to have to take the tension off these parts, aren't I? Bloody hell. Well, they don't even fit in there, lot. Hang on, are them spaces meant to be on the outside? I bet they are. Well, they had them spaces on the inside. I reckon they're meant to be on the outside. Yeah, now it fits in there now, lot. Are these just an added extra what someone's added? I think they are, you know. How the hell am I meant to get in there? See that, lot? You can't fit the ringer end in. You can't fit the open end in. But I seem to think that I've got an adapted 17mm like a... Like one that I've ground, that ground up and down. You know one of them special tall ones? There, look. Look at that. Look. <laughs> you can't beat having a few chopped up spanners, can you, people? Are they meant to go there? They can't go there. Can I? I don't know. They must be added extras, what someone's added. When they did them rollers, they must have added these. That's true when someone adapts something, isn't it? You don't know what the original was like, but that'll be all right. That's it. Oh, look 
that. I'm chuffed with that. I do like it when a little job comes together like that. Tom just come up to me, he's like, Chris, you've got a uh, compressor on board, ain't you? Can you put my tyres up tonight before I go on? I'm like, yeah, of course I can, mate. Now's the time, I'm going to change my pull cord. I mean, I've been pumping up my own tyre, that little electric pump thing, ain't I? But I may as well do it now, right? It gives me a good excuse now, so I just needed that push from Tom, and now I'm going to change my own pull cord. Handle seems to have gone walkabout creek. Oh, it's here. I got it. We like the beauty. That's what we like. Change the back. Like this little compressor apparently someone's had him on, on its side or summit and trapped some wires or I don't know what they on about that's your problem mate no battery mate you ain't got no battery mate they had a bit of wire jammed in there they said it was getting hot <laughs> classic the old bit of wire fuse we have ignition. Yeah. What's he going to show us now, Wallace? What are you going to tell me, Wallace? Oh, what's happened there? What? What? been going warm then what's it been doing that fucking egg i tipped it over all oh, right well i don't know how the fuck well while it was running no it wasn't running now i used it yeah and then i tipped it over but it nearly i don't know what could it what it could have burnt on yeah what's it arced on then look at the way wallace uses them tools people he's a bloody expert ain't you wallace Thanks, it has been. It spurts a drip under pressure. What you found? Oh, yes, you found something there, Wallace. Well done, Wallace. Table, you have found a boo boo there, mate. Let's get all that off. Good old Wallace. William Wallace. Opening a right load of worms here, Wallace, ain't we? I got blamed for all this. You know, because I tipped it over. But when you tip over, it don't fucking do that. Not like that looking. They're melted together, they are, look. I best just cut his battery on before we have electrocution. Well, and here, look, burnt all the way down there, all the way up here, all the way down here, all the way around. Are they all earth, then? I think they're, oh, no, they're not, no. Not all earth. Oh, I'll get some more snips. Look at this, everywhere, people, everywhere, just burnt. Him! The guilty one. He knows he's guilty as well. No, you, Wallace. Not guilty until proven guilty. Oh, innocent until, until proven guilty. guilty. Well, they are proven guilty. You must have walked over something. You've been doing. You see, you've, you've had bypass that fuse. It's burnt out everything. Don't fall for his little soft boy. I'm innocent. I've got to rewire all this, haven't I? Look at it all. Now. What's that plug into there? Where's that go? Oh, it goes into a plug there, look, so I can't do that plug, look. Oh, you got a couple hours work here. I have, haven't that I? It wants to be done by six o'clock. What? Is that what time you muck out? Yeah. It'll get done when it's done, mate. You shouldn't burn it out, should you, Wallace? Bloody Wallace! We don't know what's burnt it out, though, do we? So I, I could replace all them wires, strike it up again, and burn out again. What's yeah. caused it? I don't know. Talk to me, Wallace. Talk to me. 
bloody one. The plant's going anyway, that's one good thing. Right, I'll bring my van up here, Wallace. Are you going to move your big machine? Look how handsome Lee Dag is. You're a handsome jappy, you are. <laughs> Poor Lee Dag. <laughs> you can buy out your lails. Guard in his territory, aren't you? Nobody touches the dag. Apart from me. And the selected few, isn't it, dear dag? Yeah, what I'm going to do here, people, is cut one wire, change it all, nope. so I know where it all goes. Nope. You know what I mean? Like Will's like, why don't you just chop them all then? Just chop them all then, chop them all. And look, what? How do I know where to join them, Will? Oh, don't you go snipping things, Wallace. What are you snipping now? I know what he's like, people. He's ever so rough, our Wallace is. You've come here to work as free men, and free men you are. What will you do without freedom? Now, will you work, Wallace? No, we will run, and we will not work. That one there, though, that's got, I don't know whether that was just a bridging one, because it leads nowhere. Well, did it like jump from that one to that one in the middle or something? I don't really know, Wallace. That one. Yeah, it's got 10 volts coming out of the ignition. And I've just checked there, it's got 10 volts going there. So I need uh, the jump pack on it, I think. Isn't it? Right, strike this up again now, make sure it's charging. Yeah, it's charging 14 volts. Didn't know whether it was overcharging, that's what burnt the wiring out, but I don't know whether it's just arced over because he tipped it on its side over. So I don't know, I don't know. But I've just checked the wiring and that it it, it don't seem to be going warm, so I'll leave it running for a bit, won't I? We'll get warm, won't we, Leos? Because it's absolutely perishing out there. Freezing. Uh, yeah, so I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Woo woo! See you later! Yeah, hey, my little girl, we're just playing doctors, won't we, my girl? Look, you like a little that? Look what I made. I had some rags and a top. Look, a little medic top, isn't it? Doctor's top. Yeah. What we got to fix now? We've got to go fix the machine, haven't we? Yeah. Mitch has just rang me. He says uh, the shredder's uh, gone and shot itself. Uh, a ram or something's has snapped, and then. I don't know, for the cage or something, it's snapped off, so he wants a bit of a... There's Buddy, look, Buddy's there. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got to go and fix it, haven't we, my girl? Yeah. Good job you've got all your gear with you, isn't it? All your medical equipment with you and sweeties and that, isn't it? We're all set up anyway. It takes you about an hour just to go out the house, like, but... Sweeties, yeah, you got crisp jobs and crispies now. Yeah. Okay, my girl. Cookie instead, isn't it, my girl? Right, so uh, yeah, let's go to Scotty, see what we've got here. Obviously, I've told him that I've got our bird, so I can't really do a lot. But we'll go and, even if we assist, if any helps, well, it's better than no help, isn't it? <laughs> Careful, he'll eat that biscuit off you. He will. He'll nip it off you. Tonight we are running on the right track. Right, we might need your bandage. Good job you bought some bandages with you, isn't it? I bought Birdie, you see, to diagnose the problem. Isn't it, my girl? Yeah. You're going to diagnose the problem, aren't you? Because you're, you're a doctor, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, that don't look good. Tom's just looked at me and gone... 
Oh, all the boys are fucking waving at me. This ain't good. Wait there, my angel. Better just go out and assess the job. That snapped off, I take it. Oh, is that not the problem? No, it is. That's how it started, but now it's got a bigger problem. So that snapped off, so it doesn't lift up through, not to ram it in the port list. Rob's been doing it. Look where they are. Oh, yeah. They slide down there. Yeah, that's meant to be in that recess, that's isn't it? That's down under there. Yeah, so you need to pull it all the way out so again, then. we've had to knuckle down. While it's been in there, me and Will have took this section off. Did he buy a, buy a doctor assistant to assess his job? I've got my doctor assistant there, Tom. You might have been more helpful than the doctor assistant. <laughs> <laughs> right, what the problem is here, people? You see that peg there? That's meant to be in this recess here. And it's all, this ram snapped it, it's gone pissed up, and then one of the lads has just wedged it in with a forklift and, and has got it in this groove and got it out of it. So they've took a wedge out there, removing it lot, to then budge this over, slot it in that slot. You need a strap on top there, lot, on top of your forklift, strap it into it. Oh, big strapper. health report on everyone all right my girl they didn't are you gonna get your stethoscope out to all these lads make sure that the, the fit and well for working yeah yeah you got peter rabbit is he unwell at the minute yeah poor peter poor, poor peter rabbit right another problem all with this is the petrol engine don't start we've got petrol engine starting issues right there Tom. let me see if has it got a pump on it somewhere? Let's have a look. Has it got a battery? <laughs> Fixed it, mate. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find the boys. Go and find the boys, see if they want fixing. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, the comedic things, look. Gone away a bit where Daddy drew it. Oh, hey. Okay. Never mind. Come on. Help, pussycat. Help, pussycat. Help, pussycat. A bit, a bit scared, isn't he? Yeah, me. He's got a lot, he's in there, lot. <laughs> that must be his little hiding place. I think he's a wildcat, my gal. Baz, look, trying out the M7, mate, on these here. <laughs> Lovely bit of kit, that. Waiting for some fuel for that fucking machine. It's re the, the record to put uh, a can in it this morning, but there's no in the tank, so whether it's leaked out, we don't know. They're just going to go and get two more tankfuls. That I didn't realise to put that on today, and it's not long enough. I thought that was the fucking hell. Right, I've just took that pin out, put another one, made it longer. So now I'm going to go it in again because the trouble is it was falling out all the time. Not long enough, you see, so it's pissed up in the gully. Right, well, yeah. Well done. Well in. 
in, Dan, in, Dan. Whoa. Yeah, she's in. That's the trouble, lot. We're pissed up again. Can you see it all? We're pissed up again, lot. Ah, fucking thing. Could it needs to go in with that ram? It needs to go in with that ram, lot. That's what that needs, people. Little donkey engine stopped again now. Nah. So I'm just going to take the fuel line off, see what it's got. No fuel's coming out here, just twiddle about with that on off switch. You're twiddling it? No, no fuel coming out here, mate. It's got a bung engine in the fucking pipe somewhere. Right, wait there, open it up again. Yeah. I have to blow down it. I bought it the other day. What are you doing, you, huh? What the fuck are you doing, Gary? Well, you're meant to be fucking trucking, mate. Fuck off, mate. Just, just random question. What's your oil level like? It's hard. I've tried it. <laughs> Look, got a freaking linkage off here, look. The linkage. Ah, it goes to there, down there, look. Right there, look, got the linkage back on now. Now let's try it. We're in business, boys! Oh, lovely, Mitchell, lovely. That'll do, Mitchell. <laughs> right, let's get some bolts in then. Yeah, we've done that job now. We've got it bolted up. I didn't get it fully bolted, but I've got to go when I got a little birdie. We've got to go over McDonald's. But I've got, we got it in position. Uh, all they need to do is tighten the bolts up. So, yeah, so we're off now again. Catch you on the next one, guys. Woo-woo, see you later. Yeah. My girl, what did you say? Yeah. Laters. <laughs>